Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary. Of biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. Subscribe, like, and share. The Greco Roman Empire was a multicultural empire, and Black Jews played an integral part in it from the beginning to the end. The reason behind the term Black Jews is because that is the description given to the Jews by the Roman historian Tacitus. He lived from AD 56 to 120 AD. Many again say that they were a race of Ethiopian origin who in the time of King Cepheus were driven by fear and hatred of their neighbors to seek a new dwelling place. Modern Jewish History Tacitus on the Jews Circa 110 Christian Era Jewish Virtual Library dot org In the Roman Empire, Jews, southern kingdom of Judah, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, Judea or Judeans, were synonymous with Ethiopians. Black Jews in the Roman Empire, Rome, Italy, Alexandria, Egypt, Carthage, North Africa, Antioch, Syria. Jews, described as Black or Ethiops or Ethiopians. It has been estimated that 7 million Jews lived in the Roman Empire. Seven million is a low estimate. But we do know that 10% of the empire's population were considered Jews. This number only applies to Jews who were religious or kept their traditions and laws. Religious Jews. Not to the ones who were no longer self-identified as Jews or whose identity was lost or forgotten. In the days of the Roman Empire, there were only three of the original 12 tribes of Israel living in Asia, Europe, and Africa within Roman jurisdiction or provinces, where the population consisted of 120 million to 45 million people living under Roman rule, the empire was full of Ethiops, Ethiopians, or Black Jews. Prove all things Hold fast that which is good. First Thessalonians 5 and 21. Jewish Virtual Library. Modern Jewish History. Tacitus on the Jews. Circa 
110 CE. Roman historian Tacitus on the origin of the Jews of the Roman Empire. Many again say that they were a race of Ethiopian origin. Jews were a race of Ethiopian origin. Tacitus, Publius Cornelius Tacitus, known simply as Tacitus, AD 56 to 120 AD, was a Roman historian and politician. Tacitus is widely regarded as one of the greatest Roman historians by modern scholars. The Roman historian Tacitus According to Tacitus, they, the Jews, were a race of Ethiopian origin. Black people in ancient Roman history and classical antiquity, Greek and Roman writers were equated with people of every skin tone from very pale to very dark, associated with populations from Sub-Sahara Africa, Ethiops, Ethiopia. People described with words meaning black or as Ethiops are occasionally mentioned throughout the empire and surviving writings. And people with very dark skin tones and woolly hair are depicted in various artistic modes. Other words for people with other skin tones were also used. The Jews, Ethiops or Ethiopians of the Roman Empire. A young toga clad man of letters holding a scroll. Skin tones did not carry any social implications and no social identity, either opposed or assumed, was associated with skin color. Racism as understood today developed only after the classical period. The ancients did not fall into the era of biological racism. Black skin color was not a sign of inferiority. Greeks and Romans did not establish color as an obstacle to integration in society. An ancient society was one that for all its faults and failures never made color the basis for judging a man. Frank Snowden Jr. The Romans did not have a racial stratification social system based on scientific racism or skin color. No racism based on skin color. A young toga clad man of letters holding a scroll. This Roman man was a scholar or a author, a man with a Greco Roman education. This will probably place him as a member of the imperial bureaucracy. Atheops. In classical antiquity, terms such as Afer, Morris, Niger or Nigger, 
Ater, Fuscus, Crustus, or Melis were commonly used in reference to darker tone physical characteristics encountered in daily life around the Mediterranean. The term Ethiops, Ethiops referred to particularly dark skinned peoples. Afer, Niger or Nigger, Ethiops. Afri, Afri, singular, Afer, was a Latin name for the inhabitants of Africa. Meaning of Africa, it denoted a native of Africa, an African, Afri, Afer, meaning of Africa. Afer, meaning dust in Phoenician or Hebrew. Etymology. The etymology of the term remains uncertain. It may derive from a Punic term for an indigenous population of the area surrounding Carthage. The name is usually connected with Phoenician, afar, dust, also found in other Semitic languages. The classical historian Flavius Josephus asserted that descendants of Abraham's grandson, Ephor, invaded the region and gave it their own name. Abraham, grandson, was named Afer, Afar. Afer, Afer, a Roman cognomen in reference to Africa, used by several people. Afer, cognomen or nickname. Afer, a Roman nickname, people. Emobius, Afer, died 4th century. Also, Emobius the Elder, Roman rhetorician in the province of Africa. Domitius, Afer, died 60. Roman orator. Gaius Marius Victorinus Afer, 4th century. Also Gaius Marius Victorinus, Roman grammarian and rhetorician. Publius Elias Hadrianus Afer, father of the Roman emperor Hadrian. Publius Tarentus Afer died. 159 BC, Roman comic playwright, better known as Terence, and Bias Afer, the African, Domitius Afer, the African, Terence Afer, the African, etc. It's just getting interesting. Next, we are going to reveal more history of the Black Jews of the Roman Empire and how they were united under the Roman Emperor Septimius Severus. Emperor Septimius Severus united the Israelites of the Roman 
Empire of Rome, Italy, Alexandria, Egypt, North African, Carthage, and the Jews of Antioch, Syria. And this alliance, and it grew into the Christian Byzantine Empire of Constantine the Great. And the Russia of the Tsars and the Holy Roman Empire of the German nation. The Kingdom of France and the early British Empire. 